Brexit Britain has scored another significant win after an expert highlighted the rewards of being outside the European Union while the bloc suffers to get a grip on food price inflation. When the UK formally left the continental trading bloc in January 2021, opinion was split on how and when the benefits would shine through. Brexit supporters believe this could happen more quickly than some would imagine. While Remainers continued to bemoan the result of the EU referendum in June 2016. But one economic expert has highlighted how, over the past few years, food prices have risen much more in the European Union than in the UK. Independent economist Julian Jessup first tweeted a graph citing figures from Eurostat and the Office for National Statistics ONS, comparing UK and EU prices since 2019 up until March 2022. He pointed out how food prices have risen 5% in the UK over this period up until the current month. In stark contrast, this compares to 9% in the euro area and 11% in the EU as a whole. Mr. Jessup then tweeted a graph showing food price inflation rates, which again cited numbers from Eurostat and the ONS. The expert said on a like-for-like -like basis, food price inflation was 5.8% in both the UK and euro area. But in the EU as a whole, this had jumped slightly to 6.9%. In reply to the Twitter post and figures from Mr. Jessup, former Welsh MP Mark Reckless wrote, thanks to Brexit. In a further boost for Brexit Britain and its traders, the government has scrapped plans to impose yet more checks on goods entering the UK from the EU. Brexit Opportunities Minister Jacob Rees-Mogg insisted it would be wrong to impose new administrative burdens and risk disruption at ports. The Tory Brexiteer added that no further import controls would be imposed on EU goods this year. Restrictions on the imports of chilled meats from the bloc, as well as border checks on plant and animal products, will now not come into force in July as originally planned. Goods moving from the UK will still be subject to checks in the EU, even though the Downing Street has now decided not to impose the controls in Britain.